Welcome to our Swift programming tutorial. Today, we're tackling a puzzling question that many developers encounter. Our viewer asks, why does assigning a value to an optional variable using the question mark operator return nil in Swift 3.0? Let's take a closer look at the code snippet that sparked this question. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy just like me and hopefully you get through that resolution. So let's continue on. Let's analyze the code snippet provided. We have a variable A declared as an optional integer. Next, we see the line A equals 10. This line uses the optional chaining operator, which is represented by the question mark. However, the optional chaining operator does not assign a value to A. Instead, it checks if A is non-nil before performing an operation. Since A is nil at this point, the assignment does not occur and A remains nil. The compiler does not show an error because the syntax is valid. The optional chaining operator is designed to handle nil values gracefully. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In Swift, when you assign a value to an optional variable, like this example where we set A to 10, it works fine. But remember, the question is about handling nil values. The dot indicates that a variable can be nil, while the means it must have a value when accessed. The key difference is that optional chaining allows you to safely access values without crashing if it's nil, while forced unwrapping with will cause a runtime error if the variable is nil. For instance, if you declare a variable as optional and try to unwrap it when it's nil, you'll get an error. However, if you declare a variable as non-optional, like can't be nil, and try to assign nil, you'll get a compile time error instead. For more detailed information, check out the official Swift documentation on optional chaining. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your question, and hopefully you found that solution you're looking for. Guys, if you did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help. I'll see ya. Have a good one.